What's up my Hylian soldiers, it's me, Zalorz Need here bringing you guys a top 5 video, and in this video I am joined by my good friend, Pokemon Insider. What's up everyone, Pokemon Insider here to talk about our personal favorite stages in the newest installment of Super Smash Bros. However, we are not limiting ourselves to Smash 4 exclusive stages. For example, Final Destination is in more than one Smash game, but it's an option for our list. And with that out of the way, let's get this video started. Skyloft. This stage is on the list for many reasons for me. One, it's from Skyward Sword, one of my favorite Zelda games, and B, it's simply just a very fun stage to play on. You're on a platform flying around the town of Skyloft from all these different angles, and are able to see all the buildings and different loft wings flying in the background, and the different areas you stop by just give me so many memories to when I played Skyward Sword for the first time. It's a very lively stage, and that's why it's number 5. Delfino Plaza Super Mario Sunshine is definitely my favorite Mario game unless you include Luigi's Mansion, and having a Smash stage for the game is awesome. The stage is also amazing because during the transformations, there are extremely low ceilings which is good for characters like Rob and Mario, whose primary KO options are off the top. Those guys are my mains by the way. Anyway, the fact that my favorite Mario game has such a great stage is enough to put it in at number 4. Port Town Aero Dive. Great, another transformation stage. This list is just full of variety, isn't it? Okay, okay, with all jokes out of the way, I love this stage. And to be honest, it's really only because of nostalgia. I mean, the stage is great, don't get me wrong. It's very chaotic with all the stops and things and all the cars that come driving by. It's crazy fun and I love it. Town and City. Now here is a stage I like purely out of competitive viability. Like I said earlier, I play as Mario and Rob mainly, and Town and City is a great stage for the two characters. This is because the stage has both good platforms and low ceilings. The platforms are good because both Rob and Mario have a huge advantage when they get their opponent on a platform, and the low ceilings are good because the KO options for both characters are off the top. This is a great stage for me, and that's why it's in at number 2. Luigi's Mansion. The best way for me to explain this stage is how I explain Skyloft, in the sense that this stage comes from one of my favorite GameCube games of all time. I absolutely love the detail put into the stage, how you can follow the stairs to the second floor and to the left is the baby's room and all the other rooms on the stage. But honestly, my favorite part is the way you can break the mansion down and after a few seconds, the mansion will start to regenerate. It's really creepy and I absolutely love this stage, and I am glad to see it back in this game. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And make sure to share this video with your friends and enemies. Also, be sure to check out our theory about Jigglypuff's rest over on my channel by clicking the annotation on screen. And thank you for having me. And with all that being said, I hope you all have a great day.